Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. I promised you a Q&A this week. I got so many questions that it's actually going to be a day late on getting out. I really wanted it to be out on Wednesday, but this is going to come out on Thursday. So, thanks to everybody who submitted questions. I really appreciate it. And I got some really fun questions, so I'm really looking forward to diving into this. Since this is the holiday season, I figured that it would be a good idea to uh, have a nice frosty glass of eggnog. I've never had eggnog before. Kasha thinks I've had eggnog before, but I think I would have remembered. So let's get some eggnog and let's get the Q&A started. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever and whenever you're watching this. Okay, cheers. Happy holidays, whatever holiday it is that you're celebrating this time of year. Cheers to you, this is the first time I've ever had kinda uh, eggnog. It smells like cinnamon. Oh man, that is not what I was expecting at all. It's not bad, it just, <coughs> <laughs> okay, the best way that I can describe this if you've never had eggnog is it tastes like drinking cake batter. I'd say that's a pretty accurate description. It's pretty good. Okay, yeah, I can get on board with this. All right, on with the questions. First question comes from Jordan. If you were to be a planet what planet would you be? Man, I gotta say, I would probably be like, what's the order? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Uh -uh. Whatever the farther out ones are, because I'm just so chill. Second one comes from Joe. Joe is a newer vlogger from Ireland. Hey Joe. Thanks for the question. Joe said, I work, I know you work in a hospital, but what is your job? Joe, basically my job within the hospital is I create templates for physician schedules. So basically Dr. A tells me he can work on Mondays and Fridays and I make up a schedule and then I send it to the clinic. That becomes a lot more difficult when you have like 15 doctors in a department and these amount of clinics have to be covered. So that's basically my job. I do that for 13 different divisions. The next question comes from Jerry and Jerry's an awesome vlogger from New York. Definitely check him out. His question was, what is your go-to snack for Netflix night? I'm not a sweets person unless Oreos, unless Oreos are involved and then I will go ham. Probably pizza. Netflix and pizza is kind of kind of my thing. Something salty. Uh, chips or Ritz crackers or Cheez-Its or something like that. Next question comes from Kieran. And Kieran's a great vlogger from England, so check him out. Uh, he said, and this is a question that I got from a lot of other people as well, um, from um, Greg asked this question, Kieran asked this question, Amon answer, or asked this question, um, and anybody else who asked this question, I'll put their picture on the screen or something. So, uh, who inspired you to vlog and what got you into vlogging? It's kind of a long story, so I'll make it as short as possible. About two, maybe a year and a half ago, I was searching YouTube for a recipe for a, for a Thai food dish called Pad Si Yu. And the first person that came up in the YouTube search was a guy named Mark Weens. And Mark Weens is an American living in Bangkok, Thailand. And he travels around Southeast Asia and he cooks and he um, travels and eats and is, but he had, at the time when I visited his channel for this specific video for this recipe, he was in the middle of a travel vlog series uh, where he was traveling to some country. I honestly don't remember what it was now. But that was the first time that I'd ever used YouTube for a, for a practical purpose and I was actually entertained. 
and it got me thinking that YouTube could be something that I could be interested in. Uh, fast forward several, several months of just watching Mark all the time. He was pretty much the only channel that I was actually subscribed to. And fast forward a few months, uh, Casey Neistat kind of, you know, exploded. And so I, someone shared a video of his with me and I started watching him. Uh, and then he kind of got me into thinking, you know, you can, you can watch someone's life and, and be invested in their life and never meet them. So from there, I really don't know where it went. So the first channel I probably watched was Mark Weens. The second was Casey Neistat. From there, I've, I've gone stretches where I'll watch a vlogger for, you know, every day for two or three months and then I'll get bored. Um, but now I'm kind of in this thing, as you know, where I love watching the small channels. People who are in the same grind as me. So that's a really long answer, Karen and Greg and, and Emin. Next question comes from Tom. Tom is uh, one of my three or four Australian friends. Hey, Tom. And hey, Australia. Tom wants to know, what do you struggle the most about vlogging? Struggle with the most about vlogging? I think it's uh, initially and only until recently, it was trying to fit myself into a box uh, time frame wise and getting things out in a, in a timely fashion forced me to try to create my day instead of filming what happened in my day. Uh, and when you start trying to force things, that becomes evident to people. Like, there's a difference between like, hey, I'm gonna go do this and I'm also going to film it and waking up in the morning thinking, oh, what can I, what can I film today about my day? That becomes inauthentic, and your audience, your audience can tell that. Next question comes from Tyler, and Tyler wants to know, uh, check out Tyler's channel as well. Tyler wants to know, if you could master one subject, what would you master and why? Uh, so I have a bachelor's degree in history, so I would say I would be more well-rounded and I probably won't choose history because I've done enough with that. Math isn't quite as relevant as people want you to think it is. But it pays our bills. Kasha said, but it pays our bills. Kasha's an accountant. I mainly said that to get a rise out of her. I would say probably science. I would love to know more about the way things work and, and move and think and do. Um, yeah, I'd say science. Hmm. Hannah wants to know, what is the best compliment you've ever received? I've been thinking about this question for uh, two days on and off, and I really don't have the best answer of something that someone has told me verbatim. Uh, the types of compliments that I enjoy uh, really pertain to my ability to empathize with people and care about people and make people happy. So in my relationships, whether it's told to me or not, if I can tell that there's harmony and peace in my relationships, that's the best compliment that I can receive. Next question comes from my good friend, Andrew Mucci. I've talked about Andrew before. He's a good friend of mine from New Jersey, a great vlogger. Andrew just met Casey Neistat like yesterday. Uh, and Andrew wants to know, what bigger picture goal do I have for the vlog? This kind of all started out as a creative outlet for me and a way to connect with people and a way to share my life. And I don't think that I need to deviate from the goal of sharing myself with you or for this to be a creative outlet for me. But uh, as far as goals for the future, I really wanted to get into After Effects more and um, doing some things with motion graphics on the screen and making making my own um, like intro bumper. The intro bumper that I currently use, which I'll probably put over my face right now so that you know what I'm talking about, was actually made for me by a good friend of mine, a vlogger from Philadelphia, Ryan, uh, Death by Blog. Uh, he and his girlfriend, Stacia, have a wonderful vlog 
and he does some tech reviews and does some blogs around Philly. He's awesome. If you're not checking him out currently, you should. But he made that for me when I started talking to him about getting into motion graphics. So, Ryan, thanks a lot. I appreciate you. Uh, but Andrew, again, I think for 2017, my goal, concrete goal. Okay, so it stopped recording in the middle of that answer, Andrew. Um, concrete goals, 2017, to become more proficient with After Effects and 500 subscribers. Next question comes from Escape. Uh, she wants to know, how did I get the idea to start a blog? This is kind of along the lines of the same question as a few before, but um, just seeing a travel blogger from Asia and then following some American bloggers um, just kind of got the ball rolling and got me thinking, I think I could do that. And what are my goals for 2017? The same as, as what I told Andrew. Uh, I'd like to become more proficient with After Effects, add some motion graphics and things to, to the videos, and to hit 500 subscribers. The one last question that came from YouTube is from Stacia, and she wants to know, what is me and Kasha's go-to Netflix show? So this is a pretty easy answer, but it has a nice little fun backstory. So 2010, Kasha and I bought a house. We lived in Texas at the time. Real estate is extremely cheap in Texas, and we were able to buy a house. I think we paid $68,000 for this house. It was fairly new. Um, it wasn't in great condition, but Kasha's parents are awesome with construction and demolition and stuff, and they helped us flip this house. So we bought a house and flipped it. One day, we were taking a break from some of our construction, and we had already had the internet installed, and some of our furniture was in the living room, so we just started watching Netflix. It was right about the time that Netflix started streaming things, and we saw this thing come up on the screen this for this show. Kasha loves cartoons. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that to you, but that's pretty much all she watches is cartoons and the vlog sometimes. We were scrolling through trying to find something to watch and we found this cartoon. Kasha loves cartoons. It was called Phineas and Ferb. I think we probably left and came back that day and watched, watched it some more. Uh, we're pretty sure that Netflix keeps Phineas and Ferb on Netflix just for us. If you were to go into our Netflix like viewing history, I don't even know if you can do that, but I should check into that. If anybody knows, leave me a comment. Can you check into your own Netflix viewing history? Um, we, uh, we've, we've watched probably easily a thousand hours of Phineas and Ferb, and that's saying a lot for a show that's only like 12 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, Phineas and Ferb is what we watch together on Netflix station. Thanks for the question. Uh, Carrie wants to know, in the drug testing episode of The Office, Dwight says he likes the people he works with, with four exceptions. Who do you think those four exceptions are? I would say three of them are Jim, and the fourth one is probably, probably Creed, because he sees how lazy Creed is, but he just never says anything, because all Creed does is Quabity Ashwitz, and that doesn't really affect his sales any. Uh, my friend Liam, from England as well, would like to know, what is the most important thing for building a loyal fan base? Um, thanks for the question, Liam. One thing that I think I do really well is I believe in this community because of the, the outlet that it's provided me with and the way that I'm able to interact with you. Uh, I appreciate when people watch my videos and I'm able to return that appreciation by being invested in your lives and being invested in, in your channels and seeing your channels grow. So I think the easiest way to gain a loyal fan base is to be a loyal fan yourself. Um, Liam, I'm a fan of you. I've enjoyed watching you. I don't remember how I started watching you. I think I was like your fourth subscriber or something like that. Um, I enjoy watching Andrew. I enjoy watching Adam. I enjoy watching Michelle. I enjoy watching Ryan and Stacia. I, I enjoy watching all of your channels because I feel like you're my friends now. And the, so again, this in summation, the best way to gain a loyal fan base is to be a loyal fan. Last two questions. 
And I'm almost done with my eggnog. Aaron, my friend from Twitter, another Timber supporter, wants to know if a hot dog is a sandwich. No, a hot dog is not a sandwich. A hot dog is a hot dog. It's its own thing. Why do we even need to call it... I don't even understand where this started. A hot dog is a hot dog is a hot dog. Okay, done. The last question is from Kasha. Kasha is a person that I'm married to. Kasha wants to know, who's your favorite possum? My favorite possum is Lestu. <laughs> if you've ever seen the Goofy movie, you'll understand that. That was a great, great turnout, everybody. I really appreciate you taking the time to think up some questions to ask me. Hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you watch this. Find someone you love, tell them you love them. Peace and be good to each other. Mm -hmm.